What's going on everyone? This is Sulky and today we're going to talk about what happened to the fall update. Is it over here? Where did it go? All right, now before we get started, I just want to let you all know that I stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So if you want to come hang out, watch me play some Animal Crossing, make some new friends, go ahead and give me a follow on there. Link in the description below. All right, now let's get into it. Where is the fall update? Well, <laughs> Nintendo's been pretty busy. I will give them that. They had a huge Mario announcement, as well as the prequel to Breath of the Wild Hyrule Warriors coming out in November. So they've been really busy. And the only thing that we got to hear about Animal Crossing is that Mario items are going to come to Animal Crossing in 2021. <laughs> Yeah, so that's all uh, That's all we have to look forward to right now. But in this video, I'm gonna be making some predictions as to what is actually going to happen here into the fall update. So I think that first of all, we're going to see the first part of this update at the end of September. I think it's gonna be announced in a video like they've been doing towards the end of the month, maybe two or three days before October starts. And I think it's going to be the introduction to Jack and the uh, Halloween event that takes place throughout the month of October. I think that it's probably going to follow a similar format that this event has done in the past. I don't think too much is going to be changed. Basically what happens is Jack's going to come and see you on the 1st of October and ask you if you want to participate in an event on the 31st of October. That involves scaring your villager and giving them candies in exchange for the creepy furniture set that, that Jack offers you. And I, you know what? I think that if anything's going to change, it might be these items in the furniture set. Maybe they'll just get, you know, an upgrade and look nicer. Or maybe they'll decide to change it up a bit. I don't know. But I think that it's going to follow a similar format where you can get masks in Able Sisters throughout the month and that you can purchase candy from Nook's Cranny. Now it's the second part of this that I'm pretty excited about. So remember this tweet right here? Because I have not stopped thinking about it since it came out. And I think that I finally pieced something together here. And I want you all to let me know what you think in the comments down below about this. All right, so if you don't know, Ninji was actually going through the, the code in Animal Crossing. And Ninji's done this in the past before and been a, a huge help to the community. Um, but in this tweet right here, they found some hints to possible things to come to Animal Crossing in the future. And some of those include vegetables such as tomato, wheat, sugar, cane, potatoes, carrots, and squash, a bunch of yummy fall veggies. Now what I think is going on here is that we're going to get the return of Franklin. And I think that we're going to be teased a photo of Franklin at the end of the video in the October update like Animal Crossing has done in the past, their other update videos. I think that we're gonna see a photo of him or something relating to the Harvest Festival at the end of this trailer for the update. And now the Harvest Festival in Animal Crossing, if you don't know, is basically when Franklin the Turkey comes on over for the Harvest Festival that takes place at the end of November. It's supposed to mimic Thanksgiving. They call it the Harvest Festival though. And basically what you do is help him create a meal by gathering a bunch of food items. And now some of the food items are, you know, common to the game, like the fruits and the mushrooms and all that good stuff. We have that. There is also other items such as milk, vinegar, flour, things like that. Things that you can't find lying around your island. And you would ask your villagers for these items so you can give them to Franklin to help him prepare the meal. Now I think that what's gonna go on here is that your villagers are actually gonna supply you with these veggies that we've never seen before, such as, you know, the tomato, the wheat, things like that. I think that you're gonna pick them up from your villagers to give to Franklin. I mean, it's a bunch of fall veggies. What other purpose could they have? That's my realistic logical thoughts on it. What I want is for gardening to come to Animal Crossing though. That is a huge new mechanic of the game that we have literally never seen before. So unfortunately, I don't think that that's going to happen. If it does, good, I am happy to be proven wrong here. I really am. But I think that that's what's going to happen here with that update. So just to recap here, we're gonna get a two part update. Part one is going to come out at the end of September and it's going to welcome Jack to our island for that October 31st event. I think that Franklin and the Harvest Festival are going to be teased at the end of the October video to let you know what's coming to the game in November. I think for the beginning of November, we're gonna be introduced to the second part of that fall update and then voila. So unfortunately, I would have loved to see some sort of announcement come up at the end of August for a September update, but it looks like we're not going to get anything new for September. Based just on how Animal Crossing announcements operate, they usually come 
come out at the end of the month. So the fact that it is now almost mid-September and we haven't heard anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that we're probably not going to hear anything until like September 30th, say. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Also, if you feel differently, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your predictions for the fall update. Now, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. I always appreciate the support and I will see you next time.